Hey everybody, <laughs> wasn't yesterday absolutely just the most fun that you can have all year probably. The first, I mean, it's, it's, it's grown people's Christmas, I think. Um, but uh, we got to sit back, no stress, all our stress was on Wednesday. And hold on, let me remember that day. All right, I'm done. I'm completely done now. But uh, And we got to sit back and we got to watch the entire league. You know, if you were like me, you watch every single team critically that we're going to be playing this year. And uh, uh, Michael Michael Pick, I mean, Michael Vick, he, uh, he he's not scary for some reason. He's not, he's not the, uh, he, he doesn't seem like he can get his team over that hump. He doesn't look like a quarterback that can get that his team over that hump. He looks like an exciting quarterback, a quarterback that can make some really good plays and, and move and run fast and stuff like that. But it, he does too many stupid things. So I guess that's the one thing we can hold on when we play the Eagles that hopefully he'll, he, hopefully he'll throw a, a, a game like that versus us. You know what I mean? He, he did that versus Cleveland and it got all the way with a win, but you do that against us. So I, Philadelphia, you know what I'm saying? The, um, the, the class of the league doing the same thing they did last year. Last year they was expected to be the best. Everybody talked them up. All, all of a sudden they just whoosh. This year, are they going to repeat it? I don't know. But but let me not, not get ahead of myself because that team historically starts slow and, and, and catches catches fire toward the end of the year like they did last year. So um, RG3 was a uh, – he – I watched that full game too, the, the RG3 game, and he did not look like a rookie in any way. And he's not – He's not a Michael Vick. Somebody, I was on Twitter. I was on Twitter all day yesterday, and I was telling people, you know, uh, you know, we were talking about Vick, and they said, I mean, RG three, and they said we can just defend him like we defend Vick. And I, I don't, I think RG three is a totally different animal than Vick. I mean, he has the speed of Vick, and probably might be a little bit faster than Vick, but he doesn't play the game like Vick. He plays the game from up here. He's he was doing. He was making very smart reads, very smart plays. He was doing. He was he had the scrappiness in in there with, with him. One one play, he um he ran in front of his running back, ma get, making some blocks. He might get hurt on something like that, but still, you like the you like the uh, the 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 attitude of a person that does that stuff like that. And Washington, their defense is just bad. They, uh, they were not a bad. They beat the Giants twice. Would have beat us if they had hit their field goal twice with Rex Grossman. Let that sink in for a minute. They beat the Giants twice. They would have beat us if they hit the field goals. And now they have RG3 instead of Rex Grossman. That's a team to watch. Everybody's been counting out the Redskins, saying all oh, the Redskins, give them a couple years. No. The Redskins, as a team, were ready last year. They just didn't have a quarterback. Rex was horrible. Now, he's not horrible. I mean, I can't say he's going to be the greatest. I can't say any. I can't say... All I can say about RG3 at this moment is he's not going to be horrible. You know, he's not going to be Rex Grossman. So Washington is a problem. So all our NFC East teams, they seem to still be a problem. Uh, and we we have no idea who's going to end up, you know, first and who's going to end up last. Have no idea. Uh, there, there's some thug teams in the NFC that I've seen. San Francisco will punch you straight in the face like Green Bay. Uh, Tampa Bay, I thought Carolina was going to be the tough game, but Tampa Bay looks like they were a couple of years ago when they were re very good. They had a down year last year. They look like they're back, you know, utilizing their talent correctly. And they look like another thug team that will punch you in the face. Seattle was very thuggish in their game also. They, uh, um, they didn't win, but as RG3 was the most impressive rookie that I saw yesterday, the second most impressive was clearly Russell Wilson. Clearly. I mean, he doesn't have a great arm. He doesn't have all the intangibles that you look for when you're getting a quarterback. He's short, you know, but he's got that scrappiness in him, kind of like Romo, that he keeps working at it and keeps trying to, if something's not working, he tries to make it work or make something else work or whatever. And that kind of stuff is infectious to the team and all that kind of stuff. And he did generate, uh, um, uh, um, do a comeback yesterday with that game, and they would have won if if Braylon Edwards could catch. And I put that on you, Pete Carroll. You should have known Braylon Edwards can't catch. We all know that. But uh, we got some games tonight. Uh, Cincinnati playing. Uh, Baltimore's playing. They're both on our schedule. 
and um, let's watch them and see what we can do. But I, I am excited. I, we are no longer the best in the NFL. We're like whatever right now. All we did from this point, we, point was beat the Giants in the regular season, and that's kind of done on the regular, you ask me, you know. It is. But um, I'll probably make another video tomorrow after these games tonight, see what we see, and then uh, keep this NFL thing going. But I'm, I'm so happy NFL's back. God, this is a great time of the year. Peace out. Holla.